Hello, this is Cinema 4D Quick Tips and today we will show you how to change the geometry of object surfaces with redshift displacement. Create a cylinder and increase the number of its rotation segments. Open the Material Manager. Create the new redshift standard material by clicking on New Default Material logo. Apply the material to the cylinder and open the node editor by double clicking on the material preview. Now drag and drop the grayscale or black and white height map into the node editor. We will use the height map from the asset browser. In the asset browser, in the content tree, navigate to textures, surfaces, redshift and metal. Then double click on MXN Metal Floor Anti-Sleep 001 4K Height to view it in Picture Viewer. It's OK. Close the Picture Viewer, drag and drop the height map into the Node Editor and close the Asset Browser. Click on the Add Nodes logo, search for Displacement, drag and drop the Displacement node into the Node Editor. Connect the out color output of the height map to the displacement text map input. Then connect the output of the displacement to the displacement input of the output node. And close the node editor and material manager. Next, right click on the cylinder object. Select render text. Click on the RS object. Go to the geometry tab of the RS object tag. Check Override box, then check Enabled boxes in Tessellation and Displacement sections, and uncheck Smooth Subdivision box in Tessellation section. Open Redshift menu, click on RS Render View, and press the Start button. Then adjust the Maximum Displacement and Displacement Scale settings in the Geometry tab of the RS Object tag. To improve the rendering quality, you can decrease minimum edge length and increase maximum subdivisions in tessellation section. But then rendering will take longer. Let's apply the displacement to just one surface, the curved surface of the cylinder. To do this, close the Redshift Render view Make the cylinder editable by clicking on the Make Editable logo. Switch to the Polygon mode and select the curved surface of the cylinder by choosing Loop Selection and selecting all the ring segments that make up the curved surface one by one while holding down the Shift key. Then open Select menu and choose Store Selection. The Polygon Selection tag is generated. For convenience, let's move the Polygon Selection tag to the right of the Material tag. Click on the Material tag and drag and drop the Polygon Selection tag into the Selection field under the Tag tab of the Material tag. After that open Redshift menu, click on RS Render View and press the Start button. As you can see, the displacement has been applied only to the curved surface of the cylinder. Now let's apply another displacement to the top base of the cylinder. For this, close the Redshift Render view, open the Material Manager, duplicate the previously created material by left-clicking and dragging while holding down the Control button, and open the Node Editor of the newly created material by double-clicking on the New Material Preview. Then open the Asset Browser, Navigate to Presets, Sculpt Brush Presets, Text and Deco Wood. Double click on Deco Wood 02 to view it in Picture Viewer. It's OK. Close the Picture Viewer, drag and drop the height map into the Node Editor, close the Asset Browser, delete the first height map. Connect the out color output of the second height map to the displacement text map input 
and close the node editor. Select the top base of the cylinder by choosing loop selection and clicking anywhere on the top base of the cylinder. Then drag and drop the new material onto the top base of the cylinder. After that, open Redshift menu, click on RS Render View and press the Start button. As you can see, the second displacement has been applied to the top base of the cylinder. This is what we got after rendering. Thank you for your attention, subscribe to the channel and put your finger up.